Welcome back to the Steam Free to Play series. T today we have Saya's Awakening, a Robo Thorium visual novel. Which I haven't played many visual novels, so I'm trying to be as open minded to it as I can, but it has stiff competition. Because the only one I played before this was Doki Doki Literature Club, and that game was pretty amazing. I think that was just like an exceptional game, period. But this game, to start off, has like some of the most broken English I've read and like the visuals are so lacking because there's only one sprite to each character except for Agent 22 so there's two for him but none of them like show the difference in like emotions that a character can portray or nothing like that like all these characters like that dude's hands gonna be up for the rest of the game every time you see him that hand will be up I don't know who he's waving to but he's waving I can't even see him because he's like sending me the message over the phone but that dude's hand will always be up <laughs> um, the game had like it was like a instead of a visual novel it's like a picture book that's it that's pretty much what it is it's a picture book because it's made for like Maybe a five-year-old, except for like the murder. I guess, I guess people die in the game, so an advanced five-year-old that can like handle gore. Because the English is terrible and it's really hard to read, and sometimes you have like have to sit there and actually put together like what they're trying to tell you. And this is Lewis with his European shoulder bag. This is his second sprite. Still no change in emotion, but he's got a European shoulder bag and some like medieval colonial garment <laughs> for his shirt i guess it's supposed to be uh futuristic and nobody's supposed to be able to tell he's a cyborg just by looking at him even though he has his right arm supposed to be cyborg and you can see his little cyborg wrist thing down there they can only tell if you touch him if you touch him it's a game over instantly so i'm gonna try not to spoil any of like the major ending to the story or anything like that as much as i can so this is gonna be kind of a shorter video but uh it's rough <laughs> How many times should I remember you to call me Alan? Oh my gosh, it was a experience. I played through it three times. Oh, and this joke's so good. A laugh to memory. Oh, oh good what one, Pip. <laughs> this is my favorite one. My <laughs> you can literally get Pip to commit suicide. That was the best part of the game, is getting him to blow himself up. Because Pip is a jerk. Like, Pip is the only one that's, like, semi-cog... He's not even, like, co semi-cognizant of his surroundings. He's, like, omnipotent. Like, the narrator, or the creator of the game, basically made him with already knowing everything you're doing, and just getting in your way the whole time. While everybody else is oblivious, for whatever reason. But Pip knows. Pip knows everything. And... Uh, so I played through it three times and your choices really don't matter you can have like slight differences in the story But you don't have any like major saying anything like you can't It doesn't really let you feel like you're actually playing a game at all. It really feels like you're reading a Kids book with very bad ink. Well not even a kids book a book written by a kid because English is so bad and then, obviously, like I said, there's no real visuals. That flame coming out of Pip, that is the most, that is where all the animation budget went, right there. That is all the animation for this game. <laughs> um, what else was there? There's also not very many, oh, it's a super short game, too. That's why I played through it three times. I think the total gameplay for me to play through it three times was like... 58 minutes before I started editing so it was like 58 minutes to play the game three different times and the endings were very similar it didn't really matter what you did there's ways you can get a game over and then there's ways you can get like a different black screen at the end that tells you what happened but there's nothing that's going to change the ending scenario of the game at all you're going to end up in the same spot because guess what this game is a after a prequel to a game they already released. I don't know how I keep getting these like tutorial free to play games for games that cost money or haven't released yet. But this is my third one in a row. I don't know if that's like the new trend. I, 
just been going through the list and I just got lucky enough. And my thing is, they released this game after their 15 buck game came out and it's awful. Like why would I buy your 15 buck game if you release something this bad? And this is one of the scenarios, if I shook his hand he'd be like, oh you're a robot, I can't tell by that wrist, robot wristband you got, but oh, if you touch me I already know. So, and then a game sell over to you. There's one scene where I, it game overed me that I was hoping the Arthur, the creator would like do something to make it special, but no, it's just game over. It was awful. Um, and this game is really bad about like the options it gives you because it'll give you like one option a lot of the times, like just one option to pick from, and then other times. It will give you multiple options, but if you pick the other options, it will tell you that you have to pick the other op like one of the options that leads to a certain point in the game. Like there's one point where um, Pip's questioning me, and he literally makes me sit tell him what he wants to hear. And just stuff like that makes the game really annoying. And that is like look the game being semi-aware because it caused him a walking cliche characters in the game the whole thing is a walking cliche dude gets hit was about to get hit by a bat and he's just like all right defend yourself you are a cyborg secret agent bro this is where i was hoping it would like fix the game like something amazing would happen i'd fight back maybe take out a few of them maybe get a game over anyways but at least like i tried to do something but he's just like oh you guys got me <laughs> and he doesn't do anything, it's just game over. There are nine sprites in the game, including Alan's second sprite. And this is the end. I cut, I blacked out all the actual text that tells you what happened at the end. But that's where it tells you to play their game. And then you click the play Robothurium. And then it'll take you to a link to buy their 15 buck game. So this game gets a 2 out of 10. The game works that's like the only good thing I can say about the game is that it works because it's doesn't have good visuals isn't a good novel isn't even a novel it's a flip book and there's no gameplay because it's a visual novel I, I won't even say that some visual novels you actually get choices and I'll consider that the gameplay you have choices that are going to affect the ending and you can get like multiple various endings and you can affect the characters and characters will treat you differently. We'll consider that the gameplay for visual novels. This doesn't have that. You can make different choices and as long as you don't do anything that the jack off, the dude at the beginning of the game, who's a jack off, I guess that was supposed to be clever or whatnot. If you don't if you just stay away from the things he tells you not to do at the beginning of the game when you talk to him, you won't get the game over. But you'll get like two endings, two different endings that are just a black screen. You go through the same scenarios no matter what you do. The only cool thing was getting Pip to kill himself because the dude's like just impeding me the whole game for no reason because I tried to be nice to him one time. He still impeded me. The one I made him kill himself was when I was being nice to him because I was like, alright dude, if you're going to be this ingrate, this has to happen. But uh, yeah, I know there wasn't as much gameplay in this because I don't really want to spoil anything. But thanks for watching. Um, hopefully next time we'll get a game that's not like a lead up to another game. And we'll get like a full free to play game. But bye.